Hello, Libras. I am uh, trying a different setup because I wanted everybody to be able to see me shuffle. That was kind of important to me. So I kind of have um, <laughs> clumsily put together something. Anyway, so this is for Libra, May 2020. Um, please understand that there is no gender in tarot. If I say he or she or I am referring to a specific card that has a male or a female on it, just know that it could be either or as there is no gender. Also know that time is fluid. So whenever you see this video is when you're, when you're meant to see it. Um, if this is not your story, don't try and force it. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This will not resonate with everyone because it is a general read. Um, every now and then I do get what I feel like is like literally one person's specific reading, but that, you know, it is what it is. So we get what we get from spirit. So let's move forward. What can we expect for my Libras for the month of May 2020? Libra, May 2020. Spirits, guides, angels, gods, goddesses. What can we expect for my Libras for the month of May 2020? Show me the cards. I need to see spirit for my Libras. There we go. Let's see. I'm going to try and put these at least where you can kind of see them. We'll see. I will show them to you as we go, as I'm talking about them. Until I get a permanent setup, this is kind of where I'm at. So bear with me. I'm working on it. Bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance card. So let's see. It looks like to me, you've got um, your first card out is this Ten of Swords. And that's the end of a cycle. Tens are always about um, the endings of things, release. So it looks like to me, you have finally come to the end of something. You're finally letting it go. Um, it could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be, you know, a family situation, whatever that is. Um, and your next card is this this Queen of Cups card. And, you know, she almost comes across as like, you know, she's throwing her hands in the air. She's giving it to God. She has, or, or whatever you subscribe to. Um, she has a lot of love. She is the Queen of Cups. Cups are emotion and love. So she is, you know, just kind of got this, this cup in front of her and, you know, she's ready to give it to somebody. She has a lot of love to give. And this, again, could be a he or a she. And cups are uh, water energy. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces doesn't have to be. So she's just kind of come to the end of this cycle and realized that what will be will be, which I am confirming here with the world card. The world is, um, again, shows this cycle, these cycles of beginnings and endings. So, you know, the world continues to turn and as one thing ends, something else will begin. So that's what I'm seeing here um, in this card. And I'm not getting a bad feeling at all. I almost feel like maybe you've given up on a relationship or, or the idea of a relationship with a maybe a specific person that you had in mind. But as soon as you do that, looky what comes here for you. Somebody is, uh, they, they, they want to, you know, offer you their love. They want to tell you their feelings. This card is the Page of Cups. Pages are um, all about messages. So this could be, you know, somebody's thinking about it. You know, here he's, he's, he's not really moving. He's sitting there thinking about it. He's not real sure what he wants to do. And in the meantime, I see you um, as a very grounded, stable energy. This Four of Pentacles is, you know, she's she's still, she's grounded, she's listening to her intuition, she's patient, but she's very in touch with her intuition and what she what she wants and what she needs. And she's just let go of a cycle, so she's kind of looking ahead to see what's out there. You know, look to see if anything's coming. Um. And again, this page of cups comes before her. And as I'm looking at it, it looks like it's behind her. So I really think that that's kind of what's going on behind the scenes, maybe that you don't see. But uh, here it comes, the knight of cups. Look at that handsome fella. Um, 
knights are the bringer of things. So I think he's decided to move ahead with his, you know, this offering of, you know, what he wants to bring you and, and, and look what he wants to bring you. He wants to bring you these flowers. You know, he's riding in on his horse. He's maybe got a, uh, a romantic meal for you here, you know, this letter of love. So here he comes, he's, he's riding in and I see here, uh, you know, this could be a work relationship. This could be someone you work with, but it also could be, you know, you, um, take your time and you think about it. You think about all the possibilities. You weigh both sides. You have just come out of this cycle of, you know, and the ending of something and you're still by yourself here, but you're, but you're okay with that. You're kind of, you know, being honest with yourself and understanding that, you know, this would be, you know, something new that someone would be offering and you're thinking about it. I see here that Maybe you've accepted this because this isn't necessarily three people. This to me shows that this is two people building something, coming together and building something and working on something. And they want that something to be built on a steady foundation. So they're really putting their work into it. They're really, you know, being diligent and um, maybe even taking things slowly and carefully. Your next cup is, is, or your next cup, your next card is the Nine of Cups. It's beautiful. It's wish fulfillment. It looks like you are getting a really great return on this energy, whether this is um, a romantic partnership, a business partnership, or, you know, just you coming together with another person on a project. Um, I just see you being very happy and feeling very free still, but also fulfilled. Um, the Nine of Cups is, is wish fulfillment. So maybe it's something you didn't even know you wanted and now you've got um, six of cups. This could be, um, someone from your past or someone you already know. And when I say someone that you already know, or someone from your past, I mean, it could even just be someone you've met before, even if it was very briefly. So, you know, this shows kind of, you know, this growing, strengthening progression from, you know, a, a young form, you know, like a, a young relationship, a young bond that's going to last through time and, and be very comforting. And this person's going to be loyal to you and, and it's going to be a good return on your energy investment. So those are all good things. And like I said, the bottom of the deck, you have temperance. This is everything balancing out. This is, you know, this energy exchange is, is balanced. It's reciprocated. It's calming, you know, divine energy. <laughs> And under that, we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands sometimes can be the soulmate card um, that people see it as 1111, which is a soulmate number. Um, I would guide you to look up angel number 1111 and just read about it. Um, but it's also, it's also, you know, celebration, people coming together. It's happiness. It's, it's lighthearted. It's beautiful. It's, it's positive energy. So I think that whatever you've got going on in your life right now, I think you are are looking good. You're kind of at the top of your game, so to speak. So, you know, think about this energy, think how it pertains to your life. And if this doesn't resonate with you, then that's fine. Also, understand that um, not everything will resonate with everyone. So just kind of soak it in. And if it's not for you, just, you know, leave it where it lies. You may also check out your sun, moon and rising signs. And you can find those out on Astrology Cafe. You just type in your number and it will tell you or your number, your information, your birthday and that, that type of thing. And it will give you those, those signs. Um, Libra, if you're watching this, that would be your sun sign. You also have a moon sign, um, a rising or ascending sign. Um, and you also have a, um, a Venus sign. So Look those up and see what you think. And cross watchers, you're always welcome here too. You know, watch for your sign of the person that you're thinking about. Take a little peek. Um, I hope this helps with your life. I hope you have a great month of May, Libras. And please pay attention to my, uh, my page for more things to come. Have a great day.